Hi there, Andrew Jackson here. Um, just a SolidWorks tutorial, just a quick surfacing um, tutorial showing how to model a nose, a nose cone type surface um, using boundary surfaces. Um, so to start we want to model um, a centre line. We're going to model half of the cone and then mirror it over and knit it together. So we shall draw with a style spline. I'm just going to draw four points and then make the first two control lines horizontal so that means when they mirror over there'll be tangency and then just going to dimension a length on those um, this is all arbitrary of course you can it all depends on what your design is uh, this is just to show basic um, modeling principle so add a few more dimensions, just to constrain it. Okay. So that's our cross-section. So that would be the end of the nose cone. And now I'm going to model, uh, draw on the right plane a um, the centre line. And we're going to mirror around the centre line of the right. Use the right plane of the centre line. So again, just some points there using a style spline. You could use a conic or a um, the old type of spline if you wanted. Doesn't really matter. So we'll just put some dimensions on here. Some constraint angles on the top and bottom. Of course, the, there might be other geometry that you're matching this to. So um, off to the right, there could be, you know, like a tubular extrusion or something like this, but. Okay, we'll leave that point in there just to keep it a bit pointier. Now I'm not going to mention these, we'll just drag them around in space to get sort of a, a nice curve. Okay, that will do us. Right, so now we've got a cross-section curve on the front plane and a centre line curve on the right plane. Now we'll need to put another curve in to control the belly of, of the surface, so put this on the top plane. Three point I uh, want a pierce point con relationship there, and another pierce point relationship with this curve. And the first control line there, we have to make that. Oh, wrong way. That way. Because that will have to mirror across, so therefore it has to be tangent or normal to the centre line, to the mirror plane. Okay, just put an angle on this side. Right, so there's our uh, cross curve or belly curve that will control the, how full the surface is. Right, so some people might think, okay, curves are all done, we can just put in a boundary surface um, using those two, the two cross curves, uh, the centre line curve, the end curve and the belly curve. So let's have a quick look and see what this looks like. Boundary surface, so we'll pick that curve and then the other one. Okay, very flat in the middle, we have to pick the centre line curve, make it normal to profile, and then we're going to pick the, this is the belly curve to, to make the shape fuller. Okay, so you think, oh yeah, that looks alright, but what's actually happening there is this is the two-sided surface. So in the, each of the sharp corners, what's happening is basically one of the, the other two sides has collapsed into a singularity. Which is not ideal, as you can see in the curvature plot. So this causes all sorts of issues downstream. Okay, the zebra stripe analysis you can see there. There's something funny going on in the corners. And if we tried to offset the surface, pretty much guaranteed there will be issues. Okay, look at that. So that's actually trimmed that off because it can't produce the surface. So the singularity is we have a four-sided surface and one of those sides has collapsed basically into a point and this is not ideal now I'm just going to go, if you insert a 3D sketch select a surface and then go tools sketch tools, face curves, you can see the flow of the curves in the surface CVs, so that's really not ideal how the pink curves are coming down into a single point
So we'll delete out of this, exit out of this, and delete the uh, 3D sketch. Oh. Okay, and delete that boundary surface. So now <clears throat> what we need to do is add a curve, say maybe two thirds of the way along, where the mouse was shown there. So we'll create a plane. Offset the front plane. Yeah, so roughly two thirds of the way along. Again, this needs to be tweaked to suit the geometry that you're modeling. So we're going to put a sketch on there. Okay, pierce relationship for the center line. Pierce relation for the ship the center line. Okay, we want to make these curves need to be normal to the uh, right hand plane because when we come comes time to mirror it, we need it to be tangent, and then we need to make the uh, center of this curve pierce the belly curve. So if we add a point and make that point pierce the belly curve like that, and then coincident like that. Right, so this curve you can actually bias the shape, as you can see there, but we'll just, we'll just make it parallel to the, uh, the other cross section. Okay, so now we have curves going one way, so we've got the two curves, we're going to build a four sided surface. Now, SolidWorks has an issue, sometimes when you use Selection Manager, it won't let you uh, pick the same curve twice. This is in SolidWorks 2017. I'm not sure what the issue was. So instead, we're going to do convert entities, and we're just going to make two sub curves, so to speak, that we'll use for the boundary. And create the second curve. Oops, doesn't like that. Make that point coincident to the uh, plane there. Okay. And now we'll hide the master curve, master center line curve. Okay, so you can see the construction geometry we've got there. Boundary surface, curves in one direction, curves in the second direction. Now we have to go back and pick the center line as well. We'll just make these normal to profile because they have to be tangent for mirroring. Okay, you can see there the gap. We want to make that fuller, so we're going to use the belly curve. We're going to pick the belly curve. So, selection manager, pick the center belly curve, and when you get a white dot next to the mouse, the uh, pointer, that means it's snapped to other geometry and will move with it if you change the underlying geometry. Okay, we'll select that. Go OK. Alright, so that's our first surface. If you have a look at the curvature, there's no nasty uh, singularities. It's actually four untrimmed sides. And you have a look at the zebra plot, it's much better. Okay, if we were to have a look at the um, the face curves, insert 3D sketch, tools, sketch tools, face curves. Down one, yep, that's it. Okay. So the flow of the curves, the, the, the CVs across that surface are much better than with the um, two-sided boundary surface. Okay, so you're probably wondering how we're going to create the, the actual pointy bit of the nose cone now. Looks like we've just chased the problem up further, but, but what we're going to do is we're going to trim back that, that four-sided surface to create... Um, to create um, three edges and one control curve and we'll put a boundary surface through there okay so yeah because if you we'll have a singularity at those two points if you were to put a boundary surface in now okay so front right plane I'm gonna sketch on there and we're going to create a trim okay so if we put two straight lines in and a second line 
and now we're going to put a curve in that basically mimics the uh, the, the 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 center line. So we'll just put an arc in. So you can see, it sort of roughly mimics uh, what's going on there. It's an offset, and we'll put some dimensions in. Again, this is completely dependent on the geometry of what you're modeling. Um, um, this is just a, a quick demonstration. And make those equal. Okay, so there's our trimming sketch. So we're going to insert surface trim. Or oh, hit the shortcut. Okay, there we go. Trim. We're going to keep selections. So if we go over here, you can see which we want to keep the main piece. Okay, so now you can see we've got three edges and a centerline curve. So which gives us a four-sided surface, a pure four-sided surface. Okay, boundary surface. So we'll pick an edge. Uh, we need to pick the center. Oh, it doesn't want to snap. Oh, that doesn't matter. Um, we'll just we'll just pick the whole curve. It'll hopefully limit. Uh, okay, if you can flip connectors there because the curve was around the wrong way, and now we're going to pick our two curves going the other direction. Okay, so you can see the four-sided surface there. Now we're going to set up our tangencies. So edge wants to be tangent. Edge wants to be tangent to face, and go in the other direction. We want to make the uh, edge tangent to face. And normal profile for the centerline curve. And go OK. Right, so that looks a whole lot better than the pure two-sided surface. Um, Got the zebra stripes there. The flow is pretty good. Again, you know, it could be better if we did some more tweaking. Um, but I think the uh, underlying geometry is all good. Okay, so now you can play with actually the tangent influence um, to make the surface fuller. Uh, so if you turn on curvature combs, turn the scale down a little bit. Okay. Um, it's like the blue curves are a little bit flat in spots. Um, if we go up here and see if we can increase the tangent influence. Okay, had a little bit of an effect there. Let's have a look at the other direction. Okay, didn't do much at all anyway. Depends how constrained the surface is really. So that's a whole lot better than the uh, pure the, the, the two-sided surface. No singularities in the corners. Um, so we'll knit these together, knit, and mirror, so insert mirror around the right plane, select the body to mirror, hit OK, and we'll knit those two together, right, let's have a look at the zebra stripes and see what's, oh, curvature, yep, zebra stripes, so that's pretty good. Turn the edges off. Again, it's entirely dependent on what your geometry is, you know. Um, you can use this sort of technique for making dome buttons of, of odd profiles where you don't want to just use the SOLIDWORKS dome feature. Um, you know, putting power bulges into surfaces. Yep. Thanks for watching. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Bye.